I managed to become a freelance web developer in less than one year without having any prior coding knowledge. Today I'll show you exactly how I did it and how you can do it too. So I learned everything in these following online courses I'm going to share with you and the good news is that they're all quite inexpensive so you can get away with a budget that's less than a hundred dollars. So step one is of course you need to learn to code. I recommend getting on Udemy and purchasing and watching a course that's called the Web Developer Bootcamp. This course is one of the most watched courses on Udemy ever. It has like over 500,000 students and it's no wonder when you start watching it. I think it's better than most college classes on programming. You'll get everything you need to start creating websites, all the tools, all the technologies, everything is clearly explained and really it's easy to see that the instructor knows what he's doing and that he's a professional teacher. You also get all the support you usually get from university classes. If you have any questions, he has hired many assistants that will actually answer your questions along the way. So if you struggle with any of the exercises or projects, they'll be there to help you. If you struggle with the theory, they'll help you understand everything and basically you won't be left alone. You'll quickly see why it's one of the highest rated courses on the platform. Nothing more to say about it. It gives you everything you need to learn to code. I'll put a link in the description if you want to learn more about it or see and watch. I'll put a link in the description to my review if you want to learn more about it. I'd say the only issue with this course is that it doesn't teach you how to create WordPress websites. If you're a freelancer, this is not an issue. However, if you want to get hired at a local agency or get a job as a developer, oftentimes most employers will actually require that you learn WordPress. So if you want to uh, work in an agency rather than work as a freelancer, I recommend getting a WordPress course as well. However, just so you know, I never had to learn WordPress and this had never prevented me from getting contracts. I mean, developers are so in demand right now that even if you don't know WordPress, it's really not, a, not that big of a deal. Okay, so if you're new to online courses, one thing you need to know before we get going is that the way you'll get these courses for very cheap is is actually to make sure to buy them on sale. You see Udemy, the biggest course platform on the internet right now, they have sales almost every two weeks and these sales are like insane. They're not like 20% sale, they're like 90% sales. So instead of getting courses for like 200 bucks, you'll get them for like 15 bucks. It's actually ridiculous and it actually makes me wonder why even bother buying these courses when they're not on sale. So there's two ways to go about it. First way to make sure they're on sale is to actually wait for them to be on sale. Of course, it won't be long. They have sales almost every two weeks, so you'll never have to wait long. But I'd say that there's an even better way to go about it because you can actually force them to be on sale. You see, there are so many Udemy coupon codes on the internet. It's actually very easy to find coupon codes to get courses at 90% off even when they're not on sale like any time of the year. So I recommend just going on Google and typing Udemy coupon and I doubt you'll have any issues finding a, co a coupon that will let you have all the courses you want at 90% off and you'll, you won't and I doubt you'll have to search for more than five minutes on Google to find one. Okay, so once you've learned how to code uh, now it's time to learn about web design. This might sound weird, but you need to realize that as a freelancer, you're on your own. Almost all the time, your clients won't bother hiring a web designer on the team for your projects. Heck, most clients don't even know web designers exist. They expect the guy who codes websites to know how to make a website look good. So they'll just hire you. And if they only hire you, and it, that means you have to come up with the website's design. Look, you don't need to become an expert in web design to be good as a web front end web developer, but you at least need to know the basics if you want your clients to be satisfied with the websites you are gonna create. I've watched a lot of online courses on web design and I think the following three I'm gonna share with you are actually the best ones I recommend watching to get the most out of your money and your time and have just enough knowledge to start working as a freelancer and make good websites. And I recommend watching them in the sequence I present them to you. 
to get the most out of them. So the first course I recommend getting is Isaac Rudensky's landing page design and conversion rate optimization course on Udemy. This course will teach you how to make a website feel right. You know, how to create intuitive navigation so that your users don't get lost on your site and how to make your website feel legit and trustworthy. You know, how to create websites that look trustworthy enough so that your clients won't hesitate to give you credit card numbers and won't hesitate to call you because they won't think that you're a scam. If you're gonna get only one of the design courses that I'm sharing with you today, I think this is the one to get. This is actually the best course on web design I've watched so far. This is actually the number one best web design course I've watched on the internet so far. Number two, uh, head over to teamtreehouse.com and start watching their visual foundations course. This is a short course, it's only like two hours long. It will teach you the basics of making good visuals on a website. It will tell you how to use shapes and colors in your design. It's not that deep, very solid introduction on how to make a website look good. Here's how you can get it for free. Head over to team3house.com. They have a free trial. Look, you'll just sign up for the, the free trial, watch it. You have a seven day time span before they charge you any money. If you feel like you want to watch more of their courses, fine. Keep subscribed to their services. But if you just want to watch this course for free, just sign up and after you finish watching it, before the seven day free trial ends, just unsubscribe to their services and they won't have charged you any money. It's just that simple. Number three is another course you can get for free. It's called Web Design for Web Developers by Jonas Schmetman on Udemy. It will teach you more about the basics of how to create good visuals for your website and it will also give you a ton of tools you can use for free and very quickly to create stuff such as your color palette for your website easily and for free. And the reason you want to get it is really to get all this toolbox and all these tools. For free, this is a lot of value that will help you save a ton of time designing and creating websites. And I think for free, it's entirely worth it. So all of these courses together are what I could call the front end web developers starter pack. You'll get all the skills you need to get started, actually make very cool websites you can get paid to do on the internet. So all these courses together are like what I would call the front end web developer starter pack. They'll give you all the tools you need, all the skills you need to get started as a freelance web developer and start earning money online. As I said earlier in this video, you can get links to all these courses in the description down below if you're interested in checking them out. If you have any questions about these courses or about how I became a freelance web developer, just ask them in the comments down below. I'll be very happy to help you with that. With that said, thank you for watching and I'll see you soon.